So now we're going to program our robot to listen to the sound sensor. Instead of using the green tabs, which we've been using all along, we are going to use the orange flow control tabs. You are going to use this wait for block. Click on it and drag it up to the start of the program. You can see right now it says wait for one second time. But if we click on that block, we get a whole choice of sensors to use with this wait for block. Today we are going to use the NXT sound sensor and we are going to compare DB. We are going to compare the sound. Click that and you can see a picture of the sound sensor there and you have a choice between a number of operators. We are going to choose greater than, greater than, because we are waiting for a loud sound. Now we have already calculated the threshold and in this case, for this example, your numbers may vary. For this example, the threshold is 30. So I'm going to change that number to 30. I'm also going to make sure that this port is plugged into the port that my sound sensor is actually plugged into. Otherwise, the robot brain won't know which robot port to listen to. That's really important. Okay, so now we have said, wait for a loud sound greater than 30, and then we can tell the robot to do something. Right, now we're going to tell it in this example, I'm going to tell it to move forward at a speed of 50 for one rotation. This is your program, then you can download it. First, remember, you're going to do File, Save Project As, and you're going to call it your name, Sound, so that you can find it on the robot. It's no good saving it as project. You'll never find it again.